What's good, y'all? Sport Ross back at again with another video. So we're gonna check out top ten wrestlers who destroyed women in the ring. Equal rights, equal fights. Oh man! I as soon as I saw this, I said, you know what? We gotta watch it. What does that say about me? I don't know. But we have to check this out by wrestling flashback. This is just nothing but equal rights, equal fights. Just put it in the comments down below, man. This is when, uh, you know, you can get away with that in wrestling. You cannot do that as much now, obviously, because of sponsors and, you know, the type of climate we're in right now. People are a little eh, touchy on that. But <laughs> we're going to check this out. This should be a interesting video. We're going to go down memory lane and see some of these women. Un unfortunately, or maybe fortunately, depending on their character they were portraying in the, on the show, maybe just deserved. I don't know. <laughs> Gotta tread lightly with this video. You know how that goes. Oh, man. Let's do this, man. It wasn't uncommon to see intergender physicality oh during my the Ruthless God. Aggression Era, oh. and especially the Attitude Era. Oh. <laughs> Oh no. And it just oh. <laughs> Leader didn't deserve that. Not at that moment. Later on with the old Edge and Matt situation, yes, but at that moment, no. It made for some very shocking and memorable moments. That many of wild. which we'll highlight today. That was wild too. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> As we look at the top 10 wrestlers who frequently <laughs> destroyed women. But before we begin, let's go over some honorable mentions. Oh Vince geez. McMahon is famous for fighting his family members, including his wife Linda and daughter Stephanie. Yeah. That was wild, bro. Oh my god. Vince also had his way with Trish Stratus in the past. Yep. During the. <laughs> Vince was on. <laughs> To this day, some say he's still on that type of time. Who knows? <laughs> the 80s, Andy Kaufman brought intergender wrestling to prominence by challenging women to matches and then arrogantly boasting about defeating them. He even wow. proclaimed himself to be the intergender wrestling champion of the world. Kaufman's Whoa. battles with women were the precursor to his famous feud with Jerry Lawler. And The Rock had a particular fondness for hitting his finishers on the billion dollar princess. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Number 10, The Undertaker. During his illustrious career, the Phenom had his fair share of run ins with women. He is the first time of the evening. Mm -hmm. oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> On the cool, if can we just talk about how The Undertaker, he palmed her up like it was nothing, but then he could have really threw her down, but he actually had his hand on her back and kind of gently placed her down. It wasn't as devastating. Shout out to him, man. Because he could have just, you know what I'm saying? Like, with the guys, he he's putting some effort into it. This one, with China, he actually kind of was, was chill with it. Oh, my God. Oh, Number nine. Hey, him hitting the two storm on Vicky well. Chef's kiss, man. <laughs> Triple H. Lita took an awful lot of abuse during the Attitude Era, especially at the hands of the game, mm -hmm. who assaulted her several times. Mm -hmm. God damn. The cerebral assassin. The two man power trip. Side, something his own wife isn't even safe from. Oh, that's cold. Oh. Number eight, Chris Jericho. The During his first run in the WWF, Jericho the, was... The this one? I mean, it is disrespectful. <laughs> to do that to your own wife is kind of fucked up, but equal rights, equal fights. <laughs> Frequently paired in storylines with women, and this usually led to oh Jericho my God. in some form. He's got to step in there and get Jericho out of Oh, there. my God. It was common to see Y2J apply the walls of Jericho to any female wrestler yep. he was working oh with. Oh, my. Bro. Bro, this is vicious. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. 
This is cold. In 1999, Jericho got in legit trouble for supposedly being heavy-handed with China. Oh! Chris also famously struck Shawn Michaels' wife for... This right here. <laughs> this one is one of my favorite versions of Chris Jericho in WWE. The suit wearing, he talks slow. He was just like, he was just... He was, he was like, I don't know. I can't even describe it. It was just so, like, menacing. When he accidentally punched Sean's wife in the face, oh, my God, this feud was good. This had no, well, it had, right, I mean, HBK, Jericho, they were going with the story. Sean's retiring, and Jericho's being an ass about it. It was, man, if you haven't seen this feud, go watch it. It's legendarily great. Real during an angle at SummerSlam 2008. Look at this. Wow, he legit hit her, bro. Number seven, Kurt Angle. Angle's intensity between the ropes sometimes led to women being caught in the crossfire. Come with this, quite frankly. Whoop! Oh, oh, bro, Lita stay catching the beats. Oh my god. <laughs> Where they were often on the end of Angle's <laughs> Bro. Bro, Kurt Angle, god damn, bro, he ragged on Lita. Hey, you know what? I got to give Lita respect because she took a lot of bumps back then. No, not me. No. Oh, my God. No. Damn. Or an ankle lock. Yep. Yep. Oh my God, no. <laughs> to turn a switch beginning in 2005 as he became more of a predatorial machine from yeah. a wrestling and womanizing standpoint. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I want to have sex with your wife. This the This is He was so disrespectful. How you don't say this? Booker. I want to have sex with your wife. Bestiality sex. Bro, you would have to see me, bro. It ain't, it ain't nothing to talk about. I don't care about no championships. I don't care about nothing. It, we, don't even, we don't even have to scrap in the ring. When I see you just walking in the back, it's on site every time, bro. On site. I can see you at the grocery store. And Booker T knows all about <laughs> physical violence at a grocery store. I run it. Man, I see you picking out your produce. I'm hitting you in the head with the goddamn shopping cart. It's on site anytime I see you. This was disgusting. <laughs> oh, these sex. Yo, look at this nigga, bro. <laughs> Number six, Kane. It's a goddamn predator. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god. Oh my man. Kane didn't care, bro. Some of the Big Red Machine's most famous moments have involved him tombstoning women, mainly mm -hmm. Linda McMahon and Tori. Dog. <laughs> Even though she was protected, you can tell the angle <laughs> it didn't touch it at all, which was great. <laughs> Listen to that crowd reaction. Oh my god. After Listen his to failed that. romances with Katie, Vic, and Tori, it was unclear if Kane could ever love again. Oh, my. That's yeah. so <laughs> yeah. While he eventually married, there was still more heartbreak to come for the big red monster. With Lita. Kane had already tormented Lita in storyline before their marriage, but Kane only had revenge on his mind after Lita left him for Edge. <laughs> Nah, at this point, she deserved it. <laughs> Damn, Jezebel. Number five, women fighting back. We'll also mm -hmm. highlight some moments of the women getting their revenge as they fight back against many of the male wrestlers featured on our list. Yep. <laughs> Vince. Speak. Oh my god! We all know weapons are a short wow. way to inflict a lot of damage, but sometimes the best revenge comes in the form of a hard low blow. Yep. What? Whoop! Oh 
<laughs> oh, that was great. <laughs> he couldn't go nowhere. He was handcuffed. Good. Oh, that was great. <laughs> he couldn't go nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> Number four, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Oh, the Texas course, Rattlesnake bro. is famous for stunning almost everyone yeah. in sight. And yeah. And included countless yep. women. Uh oh. Yep. Hit him with it. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Thank you. Bro, Linda can never take a stunner, stunner, bro. She would just turn away. I'm like, bro, Linda was awful, awful at taking stunners. It just looked bad. Oh my, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Yo. I love it. And then that's when Triple H came out there and there was nothing he could do. He was having a conniption fit on the ring because he couldn't touch Stone Cold. He couldn't touch him at all. He couldn't fight him. That shit was great. Austin was also on hand to oh. deliver perhaps the worst beating ever given to a woman by a man in the yeah. WWE, occurring mm -hmm. when he destroyed Lita yep. on Raw in 2001. That's when the two-man power trip, I ain't gonna lie to you. This uh, equal rights, equal fights. I get it, but God damn, that shit was a little bit too far. Oh my God. Bro, they were beating the crap out of them, bro. Oh my God. Oh my God. Number three, Randy Orton. Orton and Austin shared similarities. We miss you, Randy. They both enjoyed hitting their finisher on women, with Orton what? doing so in the form of the RKO. Randy Orton. Legend killer. Legend killer. Give me that. Oh. <laughs> So despicable, love it. <laughs> hey. She's out of it. Oh, oh this is great, bro. That was so great, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. When Nia Jax got hit with everyone's finisher in that RKO, Chef's kiss, bring it back. <laughs> oh, no. oh, and we can't. Oh, that was cold too. Forget Orton's feud with the McMahon. Oh, this was good Stephanie too. Numerous times, including almost hitting her with a punt kick. Yeah, bro. This Randy Orton, this he was he didn't care who you were. He was going to send you to your local facility at any moment. Male, female, it could have been a kid, don't matter. This Randy Orton, ah, different. <laughs> oh my god, this was so good. This was good. Oh my god, this was oh, this was so good. Oh, Triple H. Now I see why Triple H pulled up to this nigga house and tried to kill him. I get it. I'm I'm all for it. <laughs> to Jeff Jarrett. Starting mm -hmm. in 1999, Jeff Jarrett developed a habit of attacking women. From striking them in the head with Damn. the car, <laughs> to locking them in the figure four. It didn't matter if they were wrestlers Jesus. or not. Any woman that pissed Jarrett off was fair Look game. at this, bro. What makeup girl? What kind of human being has Jeff Jarrett become? Jeez. It was surreal to see Double J assault so many women on a weekly basis. Jeez. Even though, like, the guitar is hollowed out, it's still, it's the sound it makes. Oh, my God. Whoa. Oh, my God. Jeez. Jesus. Number one, <laughs> Bubba Ray Dudley. Yep. As if Jarrett's attacks weren't crazy enough, Bubba yep. Dudley upped the ante by putting women through tables mm -hmm. all throughout his career. Oh, 
I, I miss, I wish they would do that more, man. When they ring the bell all frantically to get people like to stop, it just adds more to the effect of something brutal and bad is happening. So they're going crazy at the timekeeping area to get someone's attention to stop this. Oh, I wish they definitely should start doing that more. It adds to that, that, that panic, man, when you hear the bell ringing multiple times to get some help out here or something. <laughs> Oh my God! Oh! Poor Corey Milton! Oh my God! Don't do it! Oh my God! Oh! It's gonna happen! Here she goes! It's gonna happen! Oh! Robert also proved how vicious he could be towards females in ECW. A yep. promotion that was no stranger to putting women in the firing line. Yup. <laughs> oh my Bubba god. Bubba wanted nothing more than to put the ladies of the WWF and then, through tables. Dude, and then he would go into that euphoric state. <laughs> usually left Bubba in an orgasmic trance like state. Look at him! <laughs> and perhaps the most shocking of these spots yep. occurred when Bubba Powerbomb Mae Young, Young off the classic. stage just a day after her 77th birthday. Classic, bro. <laughs> now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out our similar video oh. in the top 10 outrageous. Hey, man. Hey, this this video is fantastic, bro. This this was great. If y'all haven't already, go ahead and hit that like button. Link to the original video will be down below, man. Hey, this wrestling flashbacks be coming with the heat. I had to check this one out, man. This was fantastic. Oh, this was just a different time in wrestling where, you know what I'm saying? The women, they caught the smoke too, you know? They caught the smoke too. So comment down below. Let me know. Would you guys be interested in more of intergender like wrestling scenarios or storylines that involve sometimes the women getting physical well i mean a lot of times even now you know the women are allowed to get physical it's just the men can't get physical or back as much you rarely see it would you guys want to see more of those physical interactions or you guys think it should be what it is right now let me know down below but i appreciate all the love and support you guys shown on channel road to 150k and never ever forget equal rights Equal fights.